Hello everyone. So this is a small company network configuration part three. In this one, we are going to configure the NAT. I hope you remember in our previous class we told this machine is able to communicate with our gateway. If you see, this is our gateway. They are able to communicate our gateway, but they are unable to access the internet because still we did not configure the NAT in our gateway. So our gateway cannot translate the private IP into public IP. That is that is a issue. So we need to do that one. So how we can fix that one? It is simple. Just we need to select the traffic and then do the configuration of the NAT. Okay. And also, if you go here and type in the browser 8.8.8, it will not work. Okay. Let me open the browser and type here 8.8.8.8. It will not work because still we don't have the NAT. So our private IP is not going to translate into public IP. So we will have the issue. It will not work. Okay. Let me uh, show you again here. Request timeout. So it is not working. Now let me go to the router. I will move like this. And now we need to configure the NAT. That is a pad. So what I will do here, how we will configure. First, we need to select the traffic. So we need to create the ACL. Access list. Access list ACL is used to select the traffic, allow the traffic, deny the traffic. For this three purpose, we are using the ACL. In the CCNA, CCNP, you will learn and you will use this everywhere in the firewall everywhere you will use the access list if you don't know try to learn in our youtube channel also this video available and also you can whatsapp us our team will guide you okay so acl is important we will use acl to select the traffic allow the traffic deny the traffic so what i will do i will write access list we can give any name i will give one okay access list one i am using the access list if you see here if I press question mark, you you have two types of access list, standard access list, extended access list, whichever you need, you can use. But now I'm using the standard one. So I can give the number from one to ninety nine. If I use the number from one to ninety nine, that is known as standard access list. If I use hundred or in between from hundred to one nine nine, that will be extended access list. But now I need to just select the traffic. So what I will do, I will use the standard access list. So I will write one. After that, I can say here what I need to do here. If you press question mark, you will get you need to deny the traffic. You need to permit the traffic or you need to put the remark or any comments. So I need to permit. So I will say permit which traffic you want to permit. If you see here, we are using only two VLAN. We have only two subnet that is 10.0 20.0. I hope you remember we are using only two subnet. If you remember here for the VLAN 10, what we told VLAN 10, we are saying that we have the IP 192.168.10.0 network for VLAN 10 and for VLAN 20 we are saying that 192.168.20.0 this is for the VLAN 20 okay so only these two subnets so we need to select only this traffic only so what I will write I will write here 192.168.10.0 okay after that I need to write the wildcard mask so what is the wildcard mask 0.0.0.255 wildcard mass will be opposite of the subnet mass okay so i wrote here 192 10.0 and after that 0 .0 0.0.0.255 so this way i selected the vlan which vlan traffic vlan 10 traffic that is it or if you see sales this one sales traffic now i need to do same thing so i can put up arrow and here number will be same here only this ip will change so i will write here 20 okay everything will remain same that's all so i selected the 10.0 traffic whatever traffic is coming 192 168 10 dot anything that will select it and whatever traffic is coming 192 168 20 dot something that whole traffic will select it this board traffic will select it after that i will write here ip nat okay ip nat inside because traffic is going from inside source and which one source we need to give access list number here. We are using access list one here. Okay. So select the one. So I will write IP source one and interface, which interface we want to do this one. Okay. We need to check here the outgoing interface. So if you see, this is our outgoing interface. Our traffic will come from inside. If you see here, our traffic will come from inside and it will go outside. So this outgoing interface, we need to write here. So what I will do, I will write here outgoing interface is fast ethernet zero by one. Okay. After that, we need to write overload. If I did not write overload, it will be one to one. Now I wrote overload means pad. So this way we configure NAT. Now we need to apply it to the interface. So what I need to do here, 
I need to go under this interface. I need to write here IP NAT outside because traffic is going outside. And this one I need to log into this interface. I need to say IP NAT inside. Okay. So let me go here and do that one. I will write here IP NAT. First of all, I need to go under that interface. So I will write interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1 and IP NAT outside. Okay. Then I will write interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. This interface 0 by 0 is this one. After that, I will write here IP NAT. What is that one? Inside. Okay. That's all. So what I done, I configure the NAT. After that, our PC should ping and they can communicate. So we can go here and we can check before they are unable to communicate. Now they should communicate. If you see our PC is able to access the internet. Okay. And if you go to the browser also, you can access the server, whatever server you want. Example, I will type here. 8.8.8.8 it is working okay it is working you can access now before it is not working and here also if you see let me save this configuration also and i will write here what i can write here i will write show uh, show ip nat translation if you see this is a translation also i can check here if you see icmp traffic is going it is uh, inside global is this one inside local is this one and they are going outside this Okay, so all the translation they are showing that one. This is using the TCP protocol and this one is using this is using the ICMP protocol. Okay, we are sending the ping that is this one and when we access the internet that is 8.8.8 this one it is saying that TCP TCP protocol we are using here and if you see the port number 80 we are using here. Okay, port number 80 because we are accessing the HTTP if you see here here we use the HTTP only. Let me show you the browser here or let me type here 8.8.8.8. This is if you see this is HTTP not HTTPS. If you want to access the HTTPS then you will have the port 443. So now I put the HTTPS. So let me check here now we have the port 443. If you see now we have this port 443. If you are using HTTPS then port will be 443. If you are using only HTTP port will be 80 okay port 80 for http and https that is ssl they are using port 443 and tcp they are using for the website whenever we are accessing the website if you are using the voice call or something voice traffic if you are sending then they are going to use the udp here okay i hope this is clear for you and what else we can say i will save the configuration in all the devices and if you need this one if you need this one then follow if you need this uh, topology with all configuration follow us in the instagram and message us in the instagram so our team is going to send you this packet tracer file so you can review and for your lab purpose or for your project purpose you can use this file okay so what i will say i will first of all let me save all the configuration so it will present here and you need to follow us in the instagram if you need this lab file and then send messages in the Instagram after that we are going to send you this file okay I hope you understand this one in case if you face any issue anything you can uh, follow us in the Instagram and send the message so our team or myself will help you okay what else I can save here everything I save I think yeah so now I hope you understand right if you want to go from this PC also it will work everything will work now all the device all the computer can access now because see it is working or if you want to access the other server this server you can access that server also this pc is having the ip address so now i can go to the browser i can type that server ip let me show you also this one is the another server 8.8.8.3 and press enter it will work if this server is configured properly then it will work if it is not configured it will not work so we can check if we have the ip for this server or not if you see this server is not having ip that's why it is not working i can write 8.8.8.3 here and the gateway will be for this server is i think 8.8.8.1 okay so now we can check here before it is not working now it is working okay so you can access all the servers this is a small organization network you can access everything in this area or you can access here also no need to worry you can access everywhere you have the IP here you can go here in the command prompt you can send the uh, traffic 
8.8.8.8 it is working perfectly or if you want to access the browser you can go to the browser and type here whatever website you need example facebook twitter whatever you want youtube but now i am i put only server for this particular ip so i will use only that one okay so it is working perfectly so now we will end this project this is a small project but we taken lot of time to finish this one as i am busy with other activity so now it is finished it is having i think four video complete one first is overview after that three video for configuration so try to watch this one if you face any issue whatsapp us or follow us in the instagram and send us message to get this topology file okay thank you bye